show it what an effort for your race team. It seemed like you had a good truck on long runs that came down to the restarts in a lot of cases for you guys. Yeah, definitely did. Uh, that last restart, we just kind of got shuffled out there. Uh, I don't know who was on the top lane and didn't get to go in there or miss a shift or whatever, but that killed us. 88 got the big lead, and so we made up over three seconds there at the end trying to catch him. And uh, I can't thank all these guys enough. Uh, Jerry Cannon, Joe, uh, my dad, everyone that works on these trucks, so without them, none of this would be possible, but uh, it's special to be back here in the number eight in the Chevy Silverado. Uh, really looking forward to next year and carrying this momentum in. I was going to ask you that. What is the status of this race team, and what do you need to ensure a good, solid, full season run again in 2016? Uh, we're still working on setting everything in stone, but we're still looking for sponsorship, uh, trying to get that settled down, uh, locked in, so we can go run a full season. It's John Hunter Nemechek. He comes home second tonight. And another strong performance from the Red Horse team of Timothy Peters. The last eight races, six top fives, a couple of wins. It's been the secret to the way you guys finished this thing. Just a lot of momentum. It was so cool to get on the roll at Chicago, and then in the last four races, we win two. And just an unbelievable year. Thanks to everybody at Red Horse Racing for what they do. Uh, Toyota, Triad, Horsepower. Just, uh, you know, Vince, this is the kind of kind of streak that you, you dream about. I wish we could go to Daytona next week and start all over, but, uh, you know, just a strong effort by everybody involved. The guys back at the shop, Notch Gear, Luke Performance, Goodridge, Russo's, Honda Generators. And, uh, hey, thanks for Tom DeLuce for giving me out some opportunity. Absolutely. Great job. Timothy Peters, fifth place tonight. Let's go to Matt Yoakum. And back in victory lane with the winning crew chief, Junior Joyner. You got your hands full, not only with the driver, great performance, but with the little guys as well. Special night. <laughs> oh, man, it don't get no better than this. I'm just so proud of this team. There's no quit in them. Duke, Ronda, Thorson, Triad, Toyota, everybody in arts. Man, what a night. Uh, what a year, you know. And we'll just uh, we'll come back. We'll build more, and we'll build them stronger next time. Right, buddy? And Matt touched on a couple of mistakes along the way cost you, but you have to be impressed by his tenacity and his drive here tonight. Yeah, I told him uh, when he pulled in, I said, man, I make you look good an awful lot, but I sure like it when you make me look good. So it works both ways. Uh, yeah, man, he, he's awesome. I wouldn't trade him for nobody. Congratulations. Good luck on 2016 as they try to get another championship. Guys? And while the celebration winds down in victory lane, the celebration just beginning at the championship stage. Eric Jones is pulled down here in the front straightaway. He will take the helmet off, and it won't be long before the fireworks fly, and we will begin our official celebration of the man that has won the championship in 2015 of the Camping World Truck Series. You know, Michael talked to him on the radio, on the pace laps. We, we listened in to him two or three times during the race. Just, just cool as could be. Never excited. Was running anywhere from the fifth to the tenth spot pretty much the whole race, right where he needed to be. Did exactly what his game plan was. What do you think Kyle Busch is thinking? I want to win this truck championship tonight, an Xfinity race tomorrow, and the cup championship on Sunday. He's off to a pretty good start. 